Hi, I'm Patty, Natalie's mom, and I'm just going to take over her camera for a minute. Um, as you can see by the title of this video, this is a Mickey Loot unboxing. Um, we've been a monthly subscriber. Um, I don't even know if they're doing that anymore because I went on the website and it looks like we're on hold, um, which I was going to do anyway, so <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, so this is like with really mixed emotion that this is happening for us. We will not be unboxing any more Mickey Loot products. Um, we love these boxes. We've actually always been very happy with the products that we've received. We got duplicates one time. Uh, that was a little disappointing. We waited a really long time for boxes to come and then they all came at once. And very early on when we complained about waiting for the boxes before we knew what was going on, um, we got some nasty emails, kind of nasty emails, um, talking about how we weren't being sympathetic to a small business. and. Um, of course, we're not big consumers of YouTube, or at least I'm not, and so I was unaware that they had moved. I was unaware that other people were having problems getting boxes, and it was in the beginning of our relationship with this company, so you have to be worried, am I being scammed? Am I? So, of course, you're going to inquire when a box is four months, five months late. So uh, their lack of understanding of their customer was really shocking to me. But Natalie and I love the product. So we collect pins and it's a subscription pin box that we can request what we want and we get it and it's fun and it's helped us collect things that we want to collect. So it's disappointing that we're having to do this. Recently, I made a decision to kind of look into the company a little bit because this last box that we got and you'll see it on this video if you stay and watch it, which I hope you do because it's a lot of fun. Um, we didn't get a spoiler sheet and things weren't wrapped and there wasn't this uh, presentation that we had become accustomed to. So um, since that happened, I started doing a little digging into the company to see what was going on with them now because I figured they'd been to Paris, they got their move done, why all these changes? and. I started seeing all these videos of people like, oh, like this sweet guy, Wavy, over in Ireland, who has got to be one of the most wonderful YouTubers. He's a real collector. He knows his stuff, and he loves cool stuff, and so he's fun to watch. He, who had been really good friends with Matt, the owner of the company, actually had to sign off on them also. Um, I watched Louisa Ruby, Louisa Ruby, I think. Yeah, she's lovely too. She had to end her relationship with the company. And then we have friends Karen and Andy over at Disney Inside Andy. They had, huh, the nicest people on the planet had a problem with the company. Um, I'm not gonna say that. No, these people did not have a problem with the company. I would say for the most part, up until very recently, everybody has loved their products from Mickey Loot. That's not the problem. The problem is Matt. Um, I, do, I don't know the man. I can't say anything other than I've watched some of his live streams and I've watched some of his um, live streams and I've seen some of his comments. Uh, that he's written on other people's videos and I've seen now some of the communication that he's had with people and it's terrible. He's just a really poor representative of what could be a really cool company. So if he is ruffling the feathers of people like Louisa Ruby and Wavy and our friends Karen and Andy, then I think he's not somebody I want to be associated with either. Um, I like to support companies that are good and kind and 
helpful and want to make a difference in the world and this company could be that but his their main representative on YouTube and social media is not so we're done we love the pins we got from you we love the presentation of the packages when they first started coming we think that you could be and maybe are a really great company but we can't work with your representative, your owner, your guy. So please enjoy our video. It's cute. We got some really cool pins that we want you to see. And we're going to find another company who will curate a pin box for us. We think that's possible too. So thank you. And um, thanks for listening. Here's the video. Hi. Hi. How you doing? What are we doing here today? It's time for... Mickey Looped January Pin Unboxing. So let's go! Hi guys, it's Natalie Fierce here and I'm with my mom Patty today. Hi. And we're unboxing Mickey Loot Pins today. And if you guys remember, I'm collecting Winnie the Pooh, and Mom's collecting Toy Story. And if you also remember, last month, Natalie got all the pins. Mickey Lutz sent all Winnie the Poohs, and she got some really great ones. I, unfortunately, didn't get any. So I'm hoping that changes today. Me too. Yeah. All right, let's go. Ready for some pins? I am. Dig in here and see what you got. They're not individually wrapped this time, so ready, go. And there's a lot of red foofles on top. All right, we'll get those out of there. Pull that up. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Oh, Mom, it, it looks like you got pins. I did. Disneyland Paris pin collection. Look at this and look at all the writing in French on the back. Okay, I got Toy Story 4 Disneyland pins. I've got Bullseye, Buzz, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. I love that. Look at, can you see under here? I can. And look at, who's the pig? Ham. Now empty that safe. Aren't they cute? Oh my god. I got, all right, so that totally makes up for last month. Thank you, Mickey Lou. Do -do 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 -do. Your side. My yeah. side, exactly. All right, let's see what else is in here. All right. Can you, I'm just going to put it right under the light, okay? Oh my god! What did you get, Natalie? Chip and Dale at the Eiffel Tower! Oh my god, it's another Disneyland Paris pin! Oh my god, that's amazing! It is! Oh, and you know, Mickey Lou did just do that trip to Paris. So you've got Chip and Dale with the word Paris, and then they are flying with a balloon up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh my God! Look and look what you have out today on display. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You've got your Chip and Dale statue climbing up the Eiffel Tower. This your brother and his girlfriend got you when they went to Disneyland Paris, right? Yes, they did. Oh my gosh! Now you got a pin to match it. Look at that. Very cool. Thank you, Mickey Loot. Do you have trivia for today? I do. Well, come on, come on. This question is Monsters Inc. themed. Okay. Because I... it was the 20th anniversary 
a month, Jersey. 20 years already. Oh my God, that's amazing. 20 years of the, of the first one. Wow. The trivia is, who is the main boss of Monsters, Inc? Oh. And I'm not not, not Roz. Not Roz. Her boss. Her boss. And I he, have no idea. And he's a monster. I think I can picture him, but I have no idea what his name is. If you know his name, put it in the comments below. We want to see everybody who knows this name, and that'll be fun, right? Correct. Yeah, we love our comments. I know. Did you know before you thought of the trivia question? Yes. Oh, you didn't have to look it up? No. Oh, hmm. Well, guess what? You know more than I do, but we've knew, we knew that, right? I'm not the best Correct. trivia at Disney. All right, here's another pin. And I think this is the last one because we got fancy Paris pins this time. And there is no spoiler sheet in the box. Here's your last pin, Natalie. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's actually, guess what? What? It's actually for you. Oh my gosh, and it is also another Paris pin. Holy mackerel. Well, we got a Paris box and we didn't know that. This is really exciting. I've got Jesse and Bullseye. Don't they each have a horse? No. Oh, just one horse? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know these things. I got Jesse and Bullseye. Cute. That's amazing. Say you'd come. <gasps> Sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln, the prospector, he'll want to meet ya. That is really cute. Mickey Lou, thank you so much. Wait a minute, Mom. What? What's this envelope? Uh, <laughs> it says Patty on it. It does. Look at this. Remember when we, we were decorating the tree? Yeah. And you said, I don't have any Merida. Oh, Merida is my favorite princess, and we had a gazillion princess ornaments, but not one Merida. <laughs> Have you been shopping? Why don't you open up the envelope and see what's in Oh my gosh, Natalie! Thank you! I've got a Merida pin! You're welcome, Mom. Look! Oh, sweetie, thank you so much. I love, I love presents. You're welcome, Mom. Look at that. I got a present. Where'd you buy this? I bought it off Pop Shop Live, which is a, it's a small shop website where they can sell pins, where they sell like comic books. Oh, so people can sell collections or their collections or whatever on mm -hmm. this site. Yeah, and I bought it from um, Disney Pin Trading. Oh, fun. Well, thank you so much. And now for the answer to today's trivia. It's Mr. Waternoose. Come back if he has a child. <sighs> Love my pin. Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. I can't wait to put all my new pins on my placard and yours on yours. And thank you so much, Mickey Lute. Can't wait till next month. I can't either. <laughs>